Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 4.15 and 4.16 from loss of motion. Two bodies of masses 10 kg and 20 kg respectively kept on a smooth horizontal surface are tied to the ends of a light string. A horizontal force F is equal to 600 Newton is applied to A and B along the direction of the string. What is the tension in the string in each case? If you observe clearly this problem, he mentioned smooth horizontal surface. So the frictional force is 0 and light string light string is mentioned means the mass of the string is negligible and now we can consider the mass of block A is 10 kilogram and mass of B is 20 kilogram here in the problem A and B are not specified so we are taking mass of A is 10 kilogram, mass of B is 20 kilogram and applied force F is equal to 600 Newton. Coming to the first part, if this 600 Newton is acting on A, we are taking the block like this. It is suppose say A and it is block B. A and B both are attached by a light string. And now the force acting on A, F is equal to 600 Newton. Now the whole system of A and B will accelerate in the direction of the force. So first of all calculate the acceleration. A is equal to F divided by mass of A plus mass of B. That is equal to 600 divided by 10 plus 20. That is 600 by 30, we are having 20 meter per second square. That means the complete system of A and B is moving towards the 600 Newtons with an acceleration of 20 meter per second square. Now we need to find out the tension within the string. Assume that the tension here is T1 away from point of contact with A and away from point of contact with B also. Tension will be same within the same string because the string is light. Now, I am taking the free body diagram of block B. Here, I am not taking vertical forces. Why means there is no vertical motion only there is horizontal motion here tension t1 is acting like this and uh, this block is accelerating like this with uh, 20 meter per second square and here we are not taking any friction because it is smooth surface normal reaction will be upwards and weight will be downwards but we are not taking horizontal forces here that means t1 is equal to mass of block b into acceleration mass of block b is 20 acceleration also 20 that is nothing but 400 newton this is the tension within the string. Coming to second part. For the same diagram, 
it is block A and block B. Now the force is acting on B, 600 Newton. In this case also, tension is supposed to say if you are naming it T2. We will have the acceleration for this system is A is equal to again F by mass of A plus mass of B. That is nothing but 600 divided by 30, 20 meter per second square only. Acceleration won't be changed. But while coming to the tension, if you are taking the FBD of suppose say block A. I am taking the block A here. Tension T2 is acting towards right and acceleration is 20 meter per second square towards right. And your normal reaction and mg, this is mass of A, no? mg, we are not taking them, why means we are not discussing about vertical motion, it is only horizontal motion. From this, T2 is equal to mass of A into acceleration. That is, mass of A is 10, acceleration is 20, that is number 200 Newton here. So, this is tension is different in different cases. Coming to 4.16. Two masses, 8 kilogram and 12 kilogram are connected at the two ends of a light inextensible string that goes over frictionless pulley. Find the acceleration of the masses and the tension in the string when the masses are released. Here the case is specified light inextensible string. That means the string is not extensible. If it is not extensible means acceleration remains same. It is a light so mass of the string is negligible. Mass of the string is negligible means tension will be remain same throughout the string. And frictionless pulley here. That is ideal case we are taking. We can imagine that this is the pulley over the pulley the two masses are suspended one is 8 kilogram and one more thing is 12 kilogram. Assume that 8 kilogram is mass m1 and 12 kilogram is mass m2 and the tension will be same throughout the string and the heavier mass will move down with acceleration A and lighter mass will accelerate upwards. Here the acceleration A is equal to directly we have the formula that is m2 minus m1 divided by m1 plus m2 that means difference in the masses divided by some of the masses into acceleration due to gravity that is equal to 12 minus 8 take g value is suppose say 10 for our convenience that is 8 plus 12 that is equal to we have 4 into 10 divided by 20 that is equal to 2 meter per second square. While coming to the tension, 
tension the string is 2 times of m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into g that is equal to 2 times of 8 into 12 divided by 8 plus 12 into 10 that is equal to 2 after simplification we will get 96 Newton. So, these are the acceleration and tensions, accelerations of the blocks and tension within the strain. Thank you. If these numericals and the concepts are useful to you, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.